Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's off meta video, we are going to make a simple Threadlings build just for Titan users to use. And it's going to follow the same pathway that variety of Warlock users tend to do when they want to really enhance their Threadlings damage. With both Hearts of Image Light and Travelers chosen at hand, we can create a dynamic strand Threadlings setup capable of releasing Threadlings after Threadlings, who are buffed up via Heart of Image Light Azotic Trait, and can be easily replenished via Travelers chosen Azotic Trait. Everything we do is going to be threading galore, so if you've been wanting more ways to use strand subclass, or want something simple to achieve that, then why not hear me out for further advice? To start, you're going to want to have into the fray where destroying a tangle or casting a pseudo grabs Wither Mel for nearby allies. While you have Wither Mel, your melee regeneration is increased. You then want to have Drenger's Laughs where activating your class ability will create a ripple in reality that forwards and suspends targets. The bonus to use Titan over Warlord aspects is the fact that our aspect effects enhances our ability without the need of fragments or certain grenade types. We are getting a free suspend ability just from using our class ability, which is going to be useful for the exotic we are using. And then we have the free damage reduction being applied, which is going to help while in the thick of things. All of these together makes the build not only a threading setup for low tier content, but also viable to be used in higher activities on the player's wish. Looking into fragments, Thread of Rebirth where strong weapon finder blows have a chance to create threadlings. Thread of Evolution where threadlings travel further and do additional damage. Thread of Generation where dealing damage generates grenade energy. And Thread of Continuity increases the duration of suspend, unravel and sever. All the following threads will allow us to make full use of threadlings to make sure they stay on the correct path while being used. For example, with us being able to suspend for free, we can use this to make sure our Threadlings can do max damage on a single or a group of targets instead of them splitting off all at once. From there, our evolution and hard to image light effects should then kick in when using our abilities and this will further make Threadlings a massive threat against anyone near their venicity. And just to finish it off, we then have the ability to create Threadlings via our primary weapon, so we always have a backup if our main grenades don't reach the targets. In something like Battlegrounds, this sort of build is perfect with add control, as this stacking damage and fast ability region means that you can never really run out fully. For the mods and stats section, both resilience and discipline will play a big part within the build itself, but your melee will also help out when you need to increase your exotic buff stacks via your harder image light. I would recommend the stat to be a tier 5 to 6, as considering the nature of Into the Free Aspects effects, you'll be getting up quite fast even without the mods added here. For our own sake, we will be adding a monster to the mix just to make sure everything flows perfectly, with momentum transfer being one and providing a 20% back to the user for melee energy, and outreach being the other, which will provide a 12% melee regen. Your resilience stat needs to be high, as this, along with the rest of your abilities, will allow your buffs to flow more freely, and this is one of the most easiest stats to achieve this in. If you could only reach tier 7, then that is fine, as you will need to double invest in class ability mods to help, and the best way to do this is to have both distribution and bolstering destination mods. They don't cost a lot to use and can provide a huge chunk of energy back through basic actions. You can also add on the further mine aspect to help you out, but this will require you to sacrifice a slot. Your discipline now should be around tier 7 as you will be using the front of focus mod for the rest. The following mod will give you a plus 30 to your current discipline stat, and this will only be in effect the longer you are charged with light. Your threading grenades have a standard cooldown rate of around 2 minutes, and upon us having the front of focus mod active and a tier 10 basically working over time, this should reduce your cooldown grenade by a minute 20. This may seem slow, but once thread of generation, bomber and hard image light is active, this will feel a lot more shorter than resented. We also have the Traveler's Chosen being used, which will provide an energy back to all abilities depending on the stacks we are on. This, along with everything else, will make sure our Threadlings are not only frequently available, but also capable of overwhelming areas with or without the buff given. A following the armor charge mod you should have, charged up and stacks on stacks will allow you to get a plus one charge to your current stack you have, while also being able to have two charges collected instead of one. From here, you can then add on the Kinetic or Strand Cypher mod, as we intend to make use of our primaries two forms. Also, be sure to add on the Firepower mod as well, so you can achieve more orbs creation via grenade kills. Lastly, having a Times 2 Kinetic or Strand Weapon Surge mod and Time Dilation mod for further support in this area is ideal. Now, lastly, the weapons being used will be the Traveler's Chosen Sidearm, which is something I haven't touched in months. The following weapon is great for those who want to lean heavily into spamming abilities non-stop and at one point was very popular for a lot of players and PvP players who could master it. 
With the following though, this will be used within the build to keep our abilities topped up at all times and allow us to do what is needed to be done. With a catalyst, the following weapon will gain osmosis and use whatever subclass element you have to be used for the damage type instead. With strand, it means surge mods based around their weapon will affect its damage output, but also using the threat of rebirth allows us to create threadlings as well, so this all pays off in the end for us. If you don't have the following, then don't fret, as any strand weapon with hatcheting can be used as an alternative instead. From here, I then decided to add on the circular logic machine gun with envious assassin and hatcheting on it. Great weapon that everyone should be able to get. If you can get a number of kills with your other weapons and overflow the current weapon, you can then use this as a primary hatching creator that is a ton of fun to mess around with. If you haven't got the ability to get this, then it's kind of hard to offer alternatives since there isn't much option available for newer light players to pick. I would say go with whatever heavy is fine with you, as this isn't a must have for the build. So overall, a simple showcase of how good Fredlings can be when built into them with regeneration damage in mind. It's similar to how Variety's Brow Fredling users like, the following provides the same case scenario for players who want to use them back to back, non-stop, with little downtime involved. With Fred of Evolution at play, and being a must for the BLT alone, it often feels like if you don't use the following with said items, you can't really get a lot out of them. The Fragment provides a 25% Fredling buff which can one-shot minors and some majors on some levels. Hard to Inmost Light, when that one stack will provide a 20% buff to them, or if on two stacks can provide a 35% buff instead, which is what our aim is. This should come to around a 68.75 grenade buff if we do the following setup correctly, which is great and quite damaging against a lot of majors to ultras you may face. Of course, it's not that groundbreaking when used against bosses, as the damage needs to be times 10 more than what's provided. And even then, using them against champions may be a hit and miss at times. However, a strand isn't all about one and done abilities and moving on to the next best thing. Having Unravel, Suspend and Sever can make Threadlings a lot more better than what most people may think. Just these alone can help make them impactful on legendary content, where certain setups reign supreme and others fail miserably. If you can retain the overwhelming feeling that the build can offer when using this one ability, it can actually make it viable on higher tier content, such as Legend Backgrounds, Legend to Master Nightfalls, Legend to Master Story Missions, etc. Although most of you may not be interested in such a build as there are better options available, what do you think about this off mess setup designed around making one ability better by building into the one area that it excels well in? Let me hear your thoughts below. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared then please leave a comment below at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link below for the build and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, I hope to see you again soon.